Yeah, we're yeah. watching a video about Concord. I like making fun of it. As soon as they said people were talentless freaks for not liking it, I learned about the echo chamber and a whole bunch of bad things. Um. Yeah. Screw them. I'm Mexican and I didn't like it. So screw them. Quite literally, those designs were terrible. I showed Fable them and... I, I don't know what they're thinking. They thought it would be at their next Star Wars. Can you believe that, Fable? Their own... I... I mean, yeah, I can. It, it actually became exactly what Disney Star Wars is. Crap. <sighs> garbage. God damn. Fable didn't just pull I... out the heavy flamer. He bring out the heavy melta. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm tired of the crap we're getting. I miss when... I miss when creativity was used. When people... When it felt like... Everyone was trying to build something good. Even if it wasn't great, it still it still had passion. Yeah. Lately, nothing we see in video games is passionate. Not everyone, yeah. just a good number of them, sadly, and that's starting to bother me. You know what, Fable, you raise a good point. That's why this coming October, what I'm going to try to do is do something called Indie October, where I'm going to try to show off and give a review to a bunch of either horror or non-horror indie games that look interesting. Basically, I'm gonna buy them, I'm gonna play them through on stream, I'm gonna send the video to a friend, and I want to, like, have people give their marks on the game. Like, even through just watching. Because I believe we should give these guys a better chance to not only end up just on Steam, but on consoles. Yeah. Because I've actually been looking through Twitter for indie games, and I found quite a few that look somewhat interesting. And I like that they're in, like... PS1 and PS2 style, you know why? Because we don't need graphics to go higher than PS3. We don't. I, I, I keep trying to Even... mention that to my friends, but they're complaining. I'm like, y'all children don't know nothing no more. Like, and here's the thing. Old man. Oh yeah, they're doing a remake of Soul Reaver 1 and 2. Oh dear. Also, yeah, games don't need to look... Like, even if you're doing a freaking sex scene, you don't even need that to look that much. Anyway, let's go on to this. Concord's got a beta out. Pimps, no monologue on this video. Let's just get right into my first impression. Okay. All right, oh. no, all right, no. Okay, no, that's fair enough. And the beta's over. Concord is like the Netflix oh, adaption of Overwatch. They spent way too much money on it and took every last character to the ironing board. Everyone. Dear God, that's a little too on the nose right there. <laughs> yeah. Especially Amazon. Amazon is terrible with this. That they just really want to change things to change. Caught around they wanna, a they cuts. Hey, a message. They want to. We all know that Amazon is more about the message than it is about quality, which is like. Which is no, stop that. Here's the Please. thing: your your message is never going to reach anyone if you don't make anything of quality. Right. It, here, like a friend tries to say, "Well, if the message is that important, it should be fun." Like, no. Here's the thing: you have to prove quality because. That means you're not even trying. It's entertainment. You have to entertain me. Bastion's curves away. They turned his ass oh. into a 1,000 gallon trash dumpster. I, did, I didn't even know they made oh. plus size robots. <laughs> it started on dogs, McDardian of the galaxy looking ass. But listen, I'm oh. not here to make fun of old fucking blueberry kid from Willy Wonka. Let's talk oh, about the game. Little... But before we get to talking about the oh. game, one last thing. Honestly, Concord is so shit that it broke OBS and destroyed all my recordings, so... Holy hell, this game had so many problems. This, this cost 400 million. What? Where did all that money go? Give me that money. I'll make a better game than this. Oh dear. Hell, I'll hire people to go make a better game than your this. To... I know people that could make a better game than this. Oh wait, it wouldn't be a live service, so they would never take it, of course. See the other missing 59 frames per second. Okay, all right, let's do it. Let's get into it. First off, PlayStation's never going to beat the movie game allegations. If every yeah. time they steal an idea, their twist is just adding expensive CGI cutscenes to it. I'm sure Sony heard that. I really want to do a thing where we just redesign a few more of these Concord characters, like that one dude who just looks like a mix of Star-Lord and Udina. 
that Overwatch fans mm. just love watching Overwatch movies. Why does I just he don't think they were clued into what kind. Oh. They probably at least spent tens of Dear Lord, he just looks like he's wearing football gear. Thousands of dollars making these oh, only dear. for 70% of drug-addled Overwatch players to immediately hammer that skip button. Especially when uh. old Paul Blart strip mall cop comes shuffling and fucking daw. You think uh. fancy trailers can make up for your shitty gameplay? What are you, World of Warcraft? Second, and let's get that Oh my god, up. that's not up. <laughs> I mean, I will say, while I've never played World of Warcraft, they make some damn good trailers. On the screen, even the gameplay has thyroid the thing, issues. Though, I know World of Warcraft, uh, Blizzard has really good storyline, and the trailers are absolutely beautiful. It's just, Blizzard as a company is questionable. They're more than questionable, they're, they're downright really... suspicious. Yeah, they're downright monstrous too, actually, which is really depressing. Yes! They, they have the ability to make some great content, and they have! It's they, just Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's that's the right word for it. Sony like slow dragged out games, but my what 600 pound lifelike movement on a bunch of physically fit heroes oh. and daw is painful. It doesn't matter if you're playing as this thing or blue balls here. You oh. shuffle everywhere. We do have footage wow. of totally not Winston's run. Look at that run. That's not even a jog. That's barely even speed walking. You're, you're embarrassing so yourself. But what's worse than the movement is the time to kill. In all fairness, what PvP the games where you have to shoot people for two fucking presidents. I do want to get some of my artist friends together and literally have them redraw some of these characters to, like I will say, just make them fun and interesting characters. And I'm pretty sure they'll come up with more interesting designs than this. Potential terms in order to kill him has never really been my bag. Let me show you a few minutes before Concord shut off my body cam. Look at low T Doom oh. guy firing five rockets to kill the enemy. Look at this sniper wow. damage. Look at Daw. He's got that hot dog within. Look at this <sighs> LMG damage. John Lewis of the Lewis gun just died for a second time after seeing that. And I know you're saying. Oh my god, they're all so heavily nerfed. Play God, that, that's just Overwatch gunplay. <laughs> that is actually my point. Overwatch is shit, and this is even worse. Grow up and go get I will not say that's not wrong. Overwatch is shit. I have no idea why people play it. <laughs> I really don't. Um, to be honest, I used to enjoy playing it in the beginning. It was, it had potential, in my honest opinion, it had potential to be something really great. It's just the fact that for whatever reason, instead of listening to the fans and like kind of like nur uh, nurturing what made it good, Blizzard decided to take it in an op in a bad direction. But but also messing up like also I think it was because of the big wigs. They cancel a lot of projects that would have been amazing for the war. Mm -hmm. As it is now, uh, Overwatch is a shell of what it could have been. As to why people play it, I don't know. And Rikroy confuses me, and he know he's self aware enough mm. to know that Blizzard's like that Overwatch sucks, but for some reason he still likes it. Yeah, uh, I will say Overwatch lost my interest after I got the gameplay became very annoying, and I couldn't even have fun with it, so I just stopped playing it. Also, this game cost forty dollars, unlike most shooters, and the character designs were. So miss that you might as well have hit the building across from the store. I got, I got into a lot of fights with people in Overwatch. I'm not even kidding. I got incredibly toxic. I had to step away. I'm not yeah, proud of I, it. I, I have no one's proud of it when they play Overwatch Fable. Because it just... I don't know why. That game brings out the worst in people. Yeah, it really does. It really does. I, 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 I know that for sure firsthand. Also common, my friend, he's a beautiful soul. He's an amazing person, very creative. But goddamn, do some of his tastes are questionable. Y yeah, Raiko is, I will always say this, Raiko is a good man, but he has very questionable taste. He does, and he knows it. He just kind of doubles down on it sometimes. It's just like, uh, we I love do... you, bud. You're amazing. Please. Why? Uh, I just say let him like what he likes, and he's a good man, so I don't bother him that much. It's like trying to bother Mr. Rogers over putting mayonnaise in his cereal i'm like sure it's fuck it's weird but he's a good man so why not but his characters are either very simple or just well they're either very simple like to the point where i could wear that outfit in real life or to the point of so basic you basic of basic like they also, uh, they didn't try anything out there is the problem. They didn't try to make anything. They're like, no, this is human alien guy from the background of Star Wars, the first movie. Also, speaking of dodgy artists, side for Overwatch, 
I have mentioned it before, but the uh, the developers, Blizzard hired, uh, basically gave a bunch of money to a bunch of popular artists to not draw their characters. People literally got paid to not draw Overwatch characters, which was hilarious. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I always find that funny. <laughs> it was so funny to find out that popular artists were literally, popular model artists as well were like, oh yeah, Blizzard paid us not to do this. You're welcome. They got hired. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they got hired not to draw them. Yeah, this is 100% <laughs> true. When it first came out, Blizzard didn't want anything like lewd or anything like that of their characters that they hired people, artists, to not draw them. Like, I... instead of trying to silence them, they're like, we're literally going to give you money. Please don't uh... do this. <laughs> It's really funny. But here's the thing. There's so many people that draw that about the girls of Overwatch that uh, there's still going to be more people that do that. Yeah, they kind of only went after the popular people, though, but they didn't. They couldn't stop a flood of, like, a bajillion artists. The problem with games it. nowadays is that they seem to think that people want characters that look just like them. Hell no. I want to forget yeah. about my real life of how much I have to work each day. And think about all the crazy bullshit that I want to do. I want to be a space pirate taking the skies. I want to be the overlord seeing over my minions and taking over the world. They forget about the fantasy part. I it, would I would like to I would like to play as a giant uh, dude in armor fighting off giant robots. That sounds cool to me. I don't care if him being nine foot tall is is fantasy. That sounds freaking amazing. Yeah. Anyway. Shot in Kabul like the rest of us. Very oh. slow, very clunky, not fun, not good. I'd rather be at the Whoopi oh. Goldberg Diablo 4 crossover event than Wait, here that was a thing? This. God damn. Third, let's all laugh at the player count for a moment. <laughs> People didn't Yeah, dear God, that player count was so fucking low. For a game that just released. But yeah, we want games where we can just not think about life why do i why would i want to think about how horrible my life is constantly that sounds depressing as hell there's a reason it's called escaping like no we gotta push this in front of your face let me have my fun like it seems like they just don't care about the everyday person they didn't want to play the game for free <laughs> but they did want to play the other overwatch knockoff <laughs> and God, so they yeah, Marvel Rivals, I actually played. It was a lot of fun. I recognize those characters. They, I was having fun with a lot of people. I like playing as most Ooh. of the characters. That's because, guess what? Their character design, it's good. Even superheroes have had bad designs. And guess what? They didn't put any of them in there. Like they don't look at... Like, like Namor doesn't look like he does in the movies. But the... Why? <laughs> Number five. This I will admit, Storm is hot. Yes. May be the most budget cut roster in history. It used to be an agreed upon. Like, look at this robot. Why are they dressed like this? Is there a reason? Do they want to pretend to be human? I don't know because they're clearly wearing other stuff. <sighs> fact: This sex sells. Now it's an obvious fact that budget cuts bankrupt. Realism's getting a little too real, <laughs> isn't it, Nether Realm? You <laughs> God damn. <laughs> look at the more wrong. successful beta going on right now, and the heroes I... look like heroes. Storm is causing a storm in my George. My... Kind of talking about how realistic certain games and certain characters are becoming. Yeah. It kind of, kind of worries me because we're kind of getting to the point where the more realistic a game becomes, the more kind of inaccessible it's going to be to play certain games on computers because yeah we have to keep upgrading our systems every couple years now because games are requiring more and more from us and i'm all for having games be more excessive to everyone but it's kind of scary <laughs> no that's that's the punisher but yeah just make characters look good don't need to make them look the most realistic in the world that's stupid that's stupid i mean the art style doesn't have to be amazing. It could just be very appealing and nice, but I don't want to see a character's dimples or pimples or whatever the hell on their skin. I don't want to see it in 40k. I just want to I just want to see it like normally, not full on. I don't want to see this person be able to breathe and look at me because I'll feel weird. 
I just can't believe they still think like, oh, you want more? No! Just stop and let us have fun. Yeah, just make a good game, have, is, a, have a good art style, and everything will be great. If you want Fable during when, uh, you can join me whenever you want when we're doing the playing indie games for, uh, you know. All of them are pretty cheap. The ones I picked so far are found. I mean, I guess. I mean, who what wants me to play a horror game? Oh my god. A soulmate man which Punisher is built like a fucking mountain. He is on yes, test he two is. million. I don't want to shuffle <laughs> around as someone that shares my very same beautiful voluptuous pear-shaped build. I want to play as a man that has used so many steroids that he won't see 35. This is a <laughs> I do love... <laughs> okay, that was a good joke. I want to play a man with so many steroids that he won't see 35. <laughs> But yeah, we don't need realism. Let me be, I don't know, a shark man that eats people for fun and then go onto the sea and attack the world. Let me play as Godzilla. That's not realistic at all, but God damn it, I like playing as Godzilla. Hero shooter where our heroes are the residents of Seattle. I can't wait for the homeless hero that throws pocket fentanyl at you. It'd be like McCree stun grenade, just bam, and then you're knocked out for the next four to six hours. I'm getting off track. And I make fun of the pronouns, but, but to be honest, these things came in handy. I'd use Bro. this shit like a star guide to some of these constellations. Just to show you this in action, you see that guy right there? That's one big ass dipper right there. Jesus. Two seconds, man or lady. Wrong! Now that you bigoted son of a bitch! Look at this roster. You got Buzz, Heavy Year, Discord, Moderator, Piss Filter, Yondu, Black Widow Maker, Tumblr, Fursona, Glaucoma, Gil, the Trash Man, if you self-identify as a trash player, Special Forces. The expert's on it. What the fuck is that design? She's wearing a trash can on her head. This lady, uh, you know, I got nothing. She's the only one on this roster that actually does damage. 2007 oh, wow. Spartan Attack Grill winner, Soldier 75, the heavier weapons guy, African American sniper, Hank Hill ass, Florida Gators fan looking chubby buddy motherfucker. <laughs> this thing that looks like it crawled out of Dawes Yard, goggles stay on during sex looking ass, big ass baby. That's one big ass baby. The new blade, the Michael Jackson, pre allegations, Shimano, shit, Lord Mounted and that Lord Mod. That one's a thinker, that one's for the Rainbow Six fans. Out there. The what? Goon Goblin, the Silverware Surfer, except the only thing he surfs is DoorDash. <laughs> Fat Albert, I got you. Hey, hey, hey! And last but not least, Token White. All right, that's enough. I've got nothing for the talking refrigerator. I would have put some palate cleansers in there, but Quentin Tarantino's God damn, fetish. God hard. damn it! He talks so fast with so many freaking zingers against them. He caught me one strike this week. I gotta lay low for a bit, pimps. It's all good though, Papa Neil. All I ask is that next time you don't dead name me. All right, I'm hurt. Thanks for watching, everyone. I gotta go. I gotta start drafting up my appeal for the inevitable strike this video is going to receive. Goodbye. Well, that was a thing. Thanks to the flock of pimps for bankrolling this video, and another huge thanks to all the- That was fast as hell, but goddamn. He could only use- he could- for those who just got here, he couldn't use footage from the game, because apparently it got corrupted very easily. That's actually incredibly funny, and really sad at the same time. That game is so trash, I I don't know who I was expecting good things about it. And like, people that try to defend it, you're defending it because of the message, that's, that's all you're doing. Which you shouldn't just defend it because the message aligns with you. If it's a bad product, it's a bad stuff, don't try to force it to people. Anyway, anything you want to say at the end of the video, Fable? Um, for any inspiring game developers, all you really need to do is have a good story, put as much passion in it as possible, and don't worry about the art style. It doesn't have to be the most, um, appealing thing ever. Just try your hardest and put as much passion in it as possible, and you will get a following. That's honestly all that really matters. Yes, just you don't have passion to make, and like, hard super... work. Yeah, passion and hard work don't have to feel like you have to follow, like, some kind of stupid trend. Just have an idea and work from there. Put as much passion and love in it, and people will appreciate you for it. You also... That's why a lot of indie games are so popular lately, because of the passion that comes into it. Yeah, and they actually make them fun! 
I know, fun yeah. seems like a weird concept besides microtransactions, but you know when we had fun in video games? I remember. Also, also, if you're ever lucky enough to get a following, a proper following, do not, and I mean do not break the trust of those that support you. Yeah. Because you're going you're gonna to need it. A lot of the times when people get too big, they sometimes let it get to their heads, and then they start breaking bonds and trust with people. It's not a good sight. It's really not. Staying humble is not easy. It's not. But trust me, it's going to take you a long way when you're trying to get to the top. Yeah. That is my honest and humble advice Do not to any would-be artist or whatever. Do not betray your audience. Trust them. And also, they believe in you. They give trust to you. You don't have the right to abuse them for that. Like, when that trust is broken, it's gone. You're, you're not really going to get that back. Yeah. Also, one last thing. Criticism, although it is scary, as long as it's constructive, is really good. I know being criticized is not good, but as long as it's coming from a good source, it's good to listen to it. Yeah. However, you are going to sometimes get criticism from people that don't like you because of whatever reason. It's okay to ignore that, but if you're getting constructive criticism... Honestly, do listen to it. It will help you become better. Also, on this final note, considering we made this somehow video into 20 minutes long, I don't know how we do this. But, uh, on that note, We're just... We're giving them good advice, though. <laughs> yes, we are, we are. Just... The point of making a game is for people to play it and have fun. Not for a message. Sure, that can be included, that can be there. Like, uh... Damn it, what was that name? A spec Ops The Line. It was a fun game, but also had a very impactful message. It did both. You can do both. I know. It seems like it's hard work, but that's what video game making a good video game is. Hard work. Yeah, and like chat said, take your time. Take your time when building something. Don't force yourself to move faster. If you cut corners, it's going to be bad. Every modern game developer doesn't realize that anymore. Yeah, that's yeah. why if I ever, you guys keep supporting me, I will make, you know what, if I become a big VTuber, I will literally make that game I keep talking about. I will literally do everything I can to get a team together, because I know I have friends in music, I have friends in all kinds of things. But, uh, yeah, thank you all so much, and we'll see you guys later. I will literally post things about the about the game if we somehow get there because there are comics I want to create there are videos I want to create and that game I want to create I know games are expensive but it was going to be in India and the graphics weren't going to go above PS2 and yeah we played well I didn't really play High Five Rush but I know it was a hitter like it was out of nowhere and people fell in love with it and it's design and guess what it didn't have the best graphics in the world and it didn't need a message because it was just fun Anyway, thank you all also so much. Also, there's a JoJo reference. Yes, there's a JoJo reference. Alright, thank you all so much, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.